Hello, in this video we calculate or derive the MLEs for a multivariate normal distribution with uh, parameters mu and sigma, where mu is a vector, um, we're going to, well, and uh, sigma squared is a matrix. So we're going to let, it's a k, k dimensional, k by k, uh, k by 1. So we're going to let uh, xi be this k dimensional uh, vector. And they're going to be IID random variables from this multivariate normal uh, density. And we want to find the MLEs for mu and sigma. And the way we do that is we first uh, find the density for one of the x's and it's multivariate normal so it can be written like this and I have a video on this if you want to search it or there's plenty in the you know on in the internet you can look at and um, now we need to find the likelihood function for like a, a, a sample of size n and since they're IID I'm just call it L you can take the product of these densities over from 1 to n and then this becomes this and so it's this you know n times uh, this n times and then the exponent sum and that's why you get this so now um, taking the derivative of this would not be uh, fun so what we do is we take the log of it and since log is a one-to-one -one function it doesn't uh, change where that is maximized so we take the log and so it's the log of this first piece and the log of this and that comes out front log and uh, exponentiation or the x the e function go they cancel leaving just the uh, Numer or the what? Well, yeah, what's in the uh, exponential exponent? And um, then uh, we just rewrite it. So what I do is I expand these matrices to this, and that's going to help when we take the derivative. So now let's let's take the partial derivative with respect to mu. So uh, there's no mu here, so it's constant, constant. Uh, so we can we can we can take the partial inside this uh, through the uh, summation. This is constant, so it's zero 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 zero. It is uh, there's a mu here, so the partial with respect to mu, you just use what's in front here, and we get that. And there's uh, the partial with respect to mu of this uh, quadratic form, since there's two of them n sigma squared is symmetric then we get this uh, piece here so there's two of them mu sigma squared we set it equal to zero um, oh and I'm going to show you where you can find all these derivatives in a minute so I'm, I'm just assuming that you know this and in videos we I give very detailed and proofs that the, the derivative of this with respect to mu is this, the derivative with respect to mu of that is this. Okay, so we set it to zero. Um, then we take the we can multiply by or you know divide minus one half to both sides. That essentially goes away. You take the sum in. You take the sum in. This is constants. So you get n of them. We can uh, divide the two to the other side. So um, since that's negative, we can take it to the other side. So this piece, is there's n of them. This piece is the sum. We can post multiply by sigma. So those, those go away. And then we divide by n, and we get that the MLE of mu is the sample mean. So now let's, oh, we're, and I'm also going to show you how to derive this two different ways. I'm going to call it the uncommon way and the common way. And first I'm going to do the uncommon way. And that is that we take the partial of this likelihood with respect to sigma. Now usually you see in books that that's the partials with respect to sigma inverse. So this is the uncommon way. Um, so then when I rewrite the likelihood. There's a piece that goes before it, but it's constant, so it goes to zero. So we're taking this partial and then uh, this partial. And since this quadratic form is a number, you can take the trace of it and it doesn't change it. But that trace gives us some nice properties here. 
So the derivative of this is, is 1 over the determinant of sigma squared times the partial of, of sigma with respect to uh, sigma, the matrix sigma. Well, this ends up being um, the minus n over 2 comes out, and we're just left with this. And here, in this quadratic form, um, the, the partial of this trace of the quadratic form is negative uh, sigma inverse, the, this matrix uh, sigma inverse. Now we set it equal to 0 and solve for sigma. So here uh, we post multiply everything by sigma, so that goes away and this goes away. Then we pre multiply by sigma, so we get sigma here and then that goes away. So we're left, um, oh, so I, I do one more step. So this comes down. This is constant with respect to the sum, so it can go out front. Looks like I get rid, I multiply by two everywhere to get rid of this. The negatives cancel, the negative comes down, so I get rid of this. And then since this is constant, I can pull it out the backside and, and isolate it. Now I pre and post multiply by sigma, and we get this. Um, subtract that to the other side, divide by minus n, we get this. And then so this is a matrix, and that is the MLE for sigma. Now, as I mentioned, here are three videos. I created a playlist of four videos so far, and this is the fourth one. And the first three videos are these uh, videos here describing in, in great detail of how to take the derivatives of each of those uh, objects that we did earlier. Um, so now I want to go in and show you the sort of the common way to find the uh, MLE for uh, sigma. And so here, so we, it, and they take the partial with respect to sigma inverse, okay, because that's a sigma inverse, and, it, it, and this is much easier. So here, whoa, where do we get sigma inverse? So this log, you know, uh, the determinant of sigma inverse is the same as the determinant of sigma raised to the minus one, and then since that's log, it can be brought out front. And before, it, we had minus n over two partial log of sigma. So we took that minus here and then brought it in. So now each of these are in terms of uh, sigma inverse. And so the derivative of the log of a uh, determinant of, of sigma inverse is just the n over two sigma, which the n of two stays the same. And then in my video, I show how to do that. In one of the earlier videos here, um, the trace allows us to move this this vector to the front and then that is isolated so the partial with respect to that is just what's in front so we get this now we uh, subtract or add that to the other side divide by n over 2 and we get the same thing sigma is uh, 1 over n you know in this sum so and this is the sample variance covariance matrix so that's all I have for today hope you enjoyed it um, like it if you did and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.